Opposition parties in Zimbabwe under the banner of the National Electoral Reform Agenda say they will go ahead with the planned mega demonstration set for today. Nera convener Didimus Mutasa says they will press on for electoral reforms in the country. He says they will hand over petition to the electoral body, the Zimbabwean Electoral Commission, after which leaders of the political parties will address the demonstrations. Nera is the representative body of opposition political parties in Zimbabwe ahead of the next election that's scheduled for 2018. Well, our reporter Shingai Nyoka is in Harare. We chat to her now. Uh, good afternoon, Shingai. We understand the march was given the go-ahead by the High Court Justice Moyera earlier today, but reports of tear gas and water cannons being used against people. Uh, what did you see? Oh, good afternoon to you, Krishni. Right now we are at um, one of the hotels uh, close to the CBD where opposition political party leaders are set to address the press. Um, they had earlier on tried to begin their demonstration um, after the court had given them the go-ahead to do so. Uh, former Vice President and also the leader of Zimbabwe People First, as well as Morgan Changirai, um, had gathered at Freedom Square um, for the march to go ahead. This was around lunchtime, uh, but police uh, pelted them with, with uh, tear gas, and uh, they, they got into their cars and they drove off. As we speak, there are still um, isolated running battles between opposition supporters and uh, police in town. Mm. Uh, we're getting some distressing images in from Harare uh, today, uh, Shingai. Uh, we understand that uh, Western embassies are calling on police and the Zimbabwean government uh, to show what they call or exhibit uh, restraint. How are police managing crowds at this point? Well, at this stage, they're having a lot of difficulty managing the crowd. Um, the supporters are not all gathered in one place. They've broken up into small groups, um, and then when the police disperse them, they move to another place, um, start barricading roads, um, setting uh, tires on fire, um, as well as pelting police uh, vehicles with stones. Um, and so this, this um, chaos has been moving around um, a certain part of downtown Harare, and, and it appears that it's still uh, going on. There have been unconfirmed reports. Uh, one eyewitness said that they saw the army moving in, uh, but we're yet to confirm that they're moving into the city centre forward to deal with this particular to deal with this particular um, challenge that they have. Uh, but a lot of uh, water cannons have been or water has been dispersed from the water cannons. A lot of tear gas um, has been fired. Uh, but the opposition supporters are not giving up, and they're still fighting back as we speak. Uh, Shingai, we've seen the hashtag shutdown protest march, hashtag MyZim, etc. Uh, how is social media acting in Zimbabwe today uh, to coordinate and plan such protests? Uh, and how are people responding so far? Well, I mean, on one side of town, uh, there's a lot of chaos, the burnt tires and the, the rocks that I mentioned. But on other sides, on the opposite side of town, uh, you have a lot of people that are going about their normal business. And so in different pockets of the city, you wouldn't even think that there was a demonstration underway. A lot of the people that we saw are people that are just caught up um, as, as bystanders in this because the police are spraying water cannons and tear gas just to break up any group that they're seeing there. Uh, but really, there are a lot of updates that are on Twitter, but not really telling us or not really trying to coordinate this. Um, it really appears to be spontaneous at the moment. Shinga Nyoko coming to us on the line there from Harare, where opposition leaders are, are about to address demonstrators, we understand. Let's move on to some other news now. I'll show